Welcome Sagittarius. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the minute. Using the or Lover's Oracle doesn't necessarily mean it will be a love reading, but if it turns into that, it does. So just apply it to however it applies in your life, okay? Um, be that job, any other relationships, um, career, spiritually, whatever, okay? So wisdom, sorry, mystical wisdom, and the light says tarot, okay? So, here we go, Sagittarius. Three cards for Sagittarius, please. That just fell out. Okay, three cards for Sagittarius. Here we go. First one. Okay. Hmm. Sipping through them all to get the right ones for you, eh? Two more cards for Sag, please. No, it fell back in. Sagittarius, there we go. And there it is. Let me go and pick that up. Okay, Sagittarius. The first card we have here is Healing. Okay, and it says... Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Interesting. Okay. The next card here we have is wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And the third card is look inside yourself. Imagine what is causing you to feel this way. Sorry, exa examine what is causing you to feel this way, not imagine. Yeah, that's interesting, actually, because I just wonder um, about um, whether there's some sort of projection going on. But we'll get to that if that comes up. Okay, so healing. Two cards for healing for Sagittarius, please. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Vacation. Take time for relaxation and adventure. Okay. Sorry, Sagittarius. I do have a bit of a cough, so I may need to stop every now and then to... Just let that out. Okay. So with this vacation here, I actually feel like this is, you know, whether you're actually going away or not, this is about you needing some time for yourself. Okay. In order to do the healing that you need to do, right? Because even if it's a relationship that you're in that needs some sort of healing, It's kind of like there's healing that needs to be done together, but there's also healing that needs to be done individually as well. Okay, so it's very important to address this for yourself because at the end of the day, Sagittarius, we can't control anyone else, okay? Two cards for vacation for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, we can't control anyone else. Their healing is their responsibility. It is not yours. And we also can't force anyone to heal either. So long as we're doing the work on ourselves that needs to be done. And I have a sense for some of you that it's sort of like, well, why should I do the healing? They're not going to do it. It doesn't really matter because it's you who... who you are in control of, right? It is you who have... you have a constant relationship with from the time you were born to the time you pass. Right, so th this is the person that you need to be taken care of here. One more card for vacation, please. There we go. Thank you. Ha, huh. yeah, there's something that you're trying to decide on here that you're in your head about and you're very indecisive. Um, and I just wonder if it's actually about, for some of you, whether to stay in this relationship. Um, the relationship may have caused 
there may have been damage done within the relationship that has caused you to question whether it's what you really want. Um, and because of this indecisiveness, I feel like the healing needs to be done before a decision is made. Unless, of course, it's abusive. Okay, and in which case... You know, it's it's always wise to look at your options to keep yourself safe. That's that's your priority. Your priority, no matter what the situation, Sagittarius, is always yourself. And I don't mean that in a way of being selfish. Um, but as far as healing is concerned and doing what you need to do to keep yourself safe, it is you who is to be put first in all occasions. Okay. And that doesn't mean to say we don't consider other people and what it is that they may need and um, and the love that they may require. But there's a difference between giving that and sacrificing ourselves for that person. Okay? Friendship. Nurture your relationship. Yeah, see, this is coming down to the basis of what a relationship is best to be built upon. And that is friendship, right? Sometimes we rush into things because maybe there's a physical attraction. Or, um, you know, you know, for some people it's been a drunken night out and they've ended up with someone who, in normal circumstances, they wouldn't have chosen. Because the, the, um, the assessment and, and the... Um, you know, coming from a place of being observant, of being discerning, of really working out what it is that we want in a partner or a friend or anyone in our life, could even be a family member, is not always there, okay? And, and even if this is a family member, sometimes that can be even more confusing because, you know, we always taught this, you know, family blood is thicker than water, right? But this doesn't mean that we need to tolerate any abuse from anybody in our life. Just because someone is family does not give them the right to be abusive towards you, to be manipulative, to be mentally or emotionally abusive, or physically, right? So, so be very aware of this. When you get to the point of, of healing yourself, um, Sagittarius, enough, so that you can see your value and move away from those things that are not working for you and not, not empowering you and lifting you up. It's then that you will be able to sift through and work out who it is that you want in your life and who can just be over here. You know, and it doesn't mean you don't have to interact with people. You still can interact with people so long as they're nice to you. You know, so long as they're pleasant and polite. You know, the exchange can be a polite one, but it just doesn't mean you need to invest your energy, okay? So two cards for friendship. So I suppose Sagittarius is looking at what value are you putting on the relationships in your life, okay? And really getting down to those who support you, who lift you up. And of course, that exchange is mutual. Two cards for friendship for Sagittarius, please. Two more cards. I've got one card here. One more card for Sag, please, for friendship. Gee, sitting through the cards today, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's have a look. Wow. Wow, yeah. See, look at this. Just moving towards happiness, man. Absolutely. Well and truly, because um, I kind of feel like, especially the energy in these two cards here, um, this vacation here is going to allow you to sift through this potentially and actually have a break from it, okay? Sometimes it's really hard when we're in a situation to see things clearly. And when we move away from that for a bit, we can see what it is that we want and who we want in our lives and who we can, you know, discard in a sense, which... Sounds a bit cold, but, you know, ultimately that's what it is, right? And we can move towards this happiness, this joy, you know, this uplifting energy that we all desire. 
right so here we have this next card here wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course two cards for wait please for Sagittarius yeah see and that's taking that time to have the breakaway so that you can decide right not just um doing things on the spur of the moment just because you're annoyed one day you know really take your time to go within and say what what is it that I truly want you know and getting to know yourself that's going to be the answer to it all is getting to know yourself Okay, so, enlightenment. We have pursue spiritual growth. Yeah, this is really a big focus on yourself here. Two cards for enlightenment, for Sagittarius, please. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is really going within. And when we're talking about spiritual growth, that is really about you growing as an individual. Okay, um, and... I think, you know, I know I've talked a lot, Sagittarius, in the past, in past readings and that about, um, you know, what do you want to plant in your garden? What is it that you want to grow? And all that kind of thing, you know, for your life. But let's narrow it down a little bit more than that, Sagittarius. Let's look at how we want to plant ourselves. How do we want to walk this earth? What do we want that to look like? To really go inside and be totally and utterly sure of who you are to the core is, I would say, the most crucial thing that we could do in our lives. Because when we are sure of that and we come from that place in everything we do, there is no doubt, right? And it doesn't really matter how anyone else perceives that. What matters is that we know who we are. Okay, so four of cups, four of cups and the three of cups. Okay, yeah, see, this is it. I think it's I think it's necessary, especially with this friendship card coming up here, um, to to call on the people who really do back you. Okay, some of you may feel incredibly alone right now and may feel like you don't have support. That's a mindset though. Because there are people who support you. And um, I think when you share your dreams, when you share your visions with those who have your back, um, those are the people who are going to see, the st see you shine bright. See how you shine, right? And they're going to encourage you to walk towards that. To walk towards having more joy in your life. You know, they're going to be here in the chariot with you riding along for the ride or at least cheering you on as you go on that journey okay they're not going to be the ones who go oh no I don't think you should do that and how is that going to work and what about this and what about that and actually try to um to disempower you in a sense rather than encourage you okay we have sevenly heaven virtues seven heavenly virtues Keys to goodness. Yeah, see, look at this. This is reaching for the stars here, right? Reaching for the stars. It's kind of like these two here are lifting this person up to the stars to grab hold of what it is that they desire in their life, what they deserve in their life, what they're capable of. You know, seven heavenly virtues. Two cards for this card, please. The Sash. Yeah, man, like, yeah. the thing is, too, Sagittarius, is that we can get in our head so much that we don't see the support that we can have around us, and um, especially if there's been a lot of people in our lives who haven't supported us, it can be really hard to trust, um, and so we can doubt a lot about even people we ultimately know do have our back. But we can also doubt, and sometimes we can get so bogged down and um, go so deep into something that we have to start from the beginning with people to let them know exactly what's going on. Um, but do what you need to do. You know, or you can simply say, I, can't, I don't even know where to start with this. But what I can tell you right now is that I need support. 
and they'll be there, man. They'll be at your doorstep within the flash, right? Or as soon as they possibly can, okay? Allow people to help you carry the burden. Allow people to protect you as you heal. Allow people to nurture you. You don't have to do it all on your own, Sagittarius, okay? And the thing is that it's been, I feel like for some of you, the path has been such that you feel like you do have to do it on, all on your own. But that's your choice. And it's become too, too heavy. It's become t far too heavy. And this is why there is this need to wait. Because there's more healing that needs to be done. There, there's, there's more support that you need to gather around you to help you carry the burden. For you also, through this healing, to understand what you don't need to carry anymore, to put some of the baggage down, to wade your way through it, throw it out, you know, get rid of it, however you do that, okay, so that you, you can continue along the journey to what it is that is there for you, okay, and that is this. And here's the thing, I know that deep down inside, you can feel that that was what was there for you, it just feels like the, the, um, the, you know, what you're carrying is so heavy, it, it feels as though you can't actually discard that, but you can. It, it does take work, and it also takes courage, but it's totally worth it, and you're also worth it as well, Sagittarius. Okay, so look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah, unpack the bags. You know, there's, there's so many things that you don't need to carry on this journey with you anymore. Okay, and in a sense, what happens is that we end up choosing to carry all these things with us because we don't stop to let, you know, to go through them and say, okay, that's not serving me anymore, I don't need that. Why am I still bringing this with me? You know, especially when things trigger you, two cards would go inside yourself for Sagittarius, please. Especially when, you know, you, um, oh, I just lost what I was just saying then. What I do want to, what is, I am getting now though, is this. When you start releasing that baggage and start unpacking those cases, those suitcases, right? You, the direction of which way to go is going to be a lot clearer for you. You're not going to be so in your head and confused as to where, where it is that you need to be headed towards, okay? Because that path is going to be clear. There's going to be no doubt about it. And you're also, because there'll be nothing in your way, there'll be nothing nothing holding you back. And what will happen is you'll then be able to offload all this baggage from the buffalo and jump on the buffalo to make the ride a little bit easier, right? And, um, and the path will become clearer because you see, I feel like she really needs to turn around and walk up this hill and... Um, and even in order for the buff buffalo to be able to hand handle that journey, um, some of this needs to be released because it's far, far, far too heavy. Okay. And she's standing there going, I'm not too sure which way to go. And um, as she unpacks that, that's going to become clearer. Okay. So two cards for look inside yourself for Sagittarius, please. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay, thank you. Sensuality, express your sensuality. Ha, huh? this has been locked away. This has been held inside. And your sensuality is that for yourself. This is your heart. You know, this is the love, right? That you've been holding inside because you've been hurt in the past and you don't want to let it flow freely because you're still afraid of getting hurt okay so looking at why is it that you don't want to express this okay two cards for sensuality for Sagittarius please because the fact of the matter is to reach the sun um, you need to be open for that to come to you okay wow wow 
And I'll tell you what, what you're heading towards is this here, Sagittarius, the Emperor and the King of Swords. This is truth. This is honesty. This is someone, you know, just put aside the gender, okay? If you're a male watching this, put aside the gender because this is your Empress, right? The Queen of Swords, someone who, who cuts through all the BS and they just are completely honest. There's no, um, there's no mistaking what is going on for them. There's no mistaking what is in their heart because they've done what it is that needs to be done. Okay, and this is, I know that this is probably what you want in your life. No doubt about it, right? This is also Sagittarius about when you do, do the healing here, right? You're also going to be able to communicate clearly as to what you want, right? The sensuality that flows from you is going to happen effortlessly, okay? And you're going to be able to give that. You're going to be able to build the empire that you dream of. And you're going to sit on that throne. You're going to be, you know, the, the empire, he knows what to sieve out, what is not needed, Okay, he knows who he wants in his, in his, um, you know, it's the same with the king's swords. They know what they want in their kingdom, know what they want in their empire. They know, there's, they're clear as day about that. And that's what I feel like this emotional um, baggage, in a sense, which sounds harsh, but ultimately that's what it is, right? Um, once that's cleared out, your mind is going to be able to become clearer okay and when you look inside of yourself as to why you feel so clouded in your judgment then you'll be able to chuck out what is not serving you celebration let go and have fun yeah see let go and here's the thing two cards for celebration please sometimes we hold on to things thinking that it's serving us for some reason but it's actually not you know and once we release and once we surrender and celebrate ourselves and who we are, the truth of who we are, the essence of who we are, we wonder why we held on to that for so long, right? And, and this is you coming into balance. This is bring, you bringing your shadow self into the light to be revealed, to be looked at, okay? So that you can get that balance in your life, so that you can climb over the fence of burden that is holding you back here, right? And the fence that we put up, because she has carried these nine of wands with her, and now she's built a fence. And now she's like, well, where, how, how am I going to move forward now? There's this fence in the way. We do it to ourselves. We truly do. Okay? So this, I feel here, is about you learning about yourself. So what will happen is as you go through that, you'll start to have light bulb moments. And as you have those light bulb moments, Sagittarius, the light that turns on is what will lead the way for you and you will have no doubt of the direction you are going in. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves and be gentle with yourself. See you. Bye-bye.